Yo, what is up everybody, Game Break you got it here. So in today's video, I am going to teach you guys how to use the Switch Glaive. Um, I've been spending a few days, you know, trying to learn the ins and out of the Switch Glaive. Some of you guys may be a lot more experienced than me with this weapon, because you know, my weapon of choice is the, you know, the sword and the dual swords. So I use those as my main weapon. So to make this video slightly more easier for you guys to comprehend, I picked my main sword to try and explain some differences that the Switch Glaive has compared to other weapons. So, obviously, I'm gonna pick my main weapon, which is the the, the katana, um, right here, and um, try to explain some differences that you need to understand. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Just to get this out of the way, with the Switch Glaive, there's a few ways of you guys doing ninjutsu cancel. I know I'm getting straight into the complicated parts of the of the the weapons. But I want you guys to understand that you can also do this with the Switch Glaive. So the easiest way to perform an Injutsu Cancel, for those of you that do not know what that means, if you uh, you would like to understand how to do those, I'll link you guys in the description down below for my tutorial for the swords or the katana, however you guys want to say it, uh, to understand what Injutsu Cancels are and everything. But this is an Injutsu Cancel right here. There you go, there you have it. You can also do this with the Switch Glaive. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. I just wanna tell you guys exactly how to do this stuff. Okay, so let's go. Uh, well, whilst you're in mid stance, I mean, um, in low stance, all you're gonna have to press, guys, is literally press square and then triangle. And you're gonna have to unlock the specific move uh, in low stance for the Switch Glaive. So go down to low stance, and then you should see at the end of the combo, and it's called uh, well, how do you say that word? <laughs> transient, transient blade or trans, transient blade? I would say transient blade, but um, yeah, you go and do square triangle, and then all you gotta do is press the ninjutsu, which is on my left. I mean, on my right arrow. It can be either Omni ninjutsu or ninja ninjutsu. So whichever one you wanna do, really doesn't matter. Just press it, and then all you gotta do is key pulse. And for those of you that do not know what key pulse is, key pulse is whenever you're fighting and you want to recover some of your stamina, you press triangle when that blue thing hits your character. Or before it hits your character, really. It doesn't matter. Just press it. I mean, you recover more stamina when you perfectly time it. As uh, right there, that's a perfect timing key pulse. And that's not a perfect timing key pulse, but you still recover some. So. I'll explain uh, a few other ways and tricks that you guys can do to recover more stamina. But for the time being, let's just learn how to do this ninja to cancel for the switch glaive. So all you gotta do literally whilst you're in low stance, press square and then triangle and you'll do the transient blade. So right there, boom, boom. All you gotta do then is press the ninjutsu, which is, you know, it's gonna be on your right arrow if you're gonna co copy me. And this can be any kind of ninjutsu. It can even be the quick change ninjutsu. So check this out. See that? But for, the, for you guys to be able to perform that quick change ninjutsu, you're going to have to have a skill. So the, what do you call it? The What do you call those things where, yo, Mystic Card, that's it. So you're going to have to unlock a Mystic Card for the ninja, which is called the Enlighten Enlightenment. And this allows you to perform your ninjutsu way faster. Uh, well, the ones that you buff your character. So boom, another one. Do you get the Do you get the idea, guys? So it just allows you to perform those ninjutsu cancels uh, a lot. I mean, those ninjutsu buffs a lot faster. And the same for Omni. For Omni, you're gonna have to unlock. Uh, where is it? This one right here, Awakening. Allows you to use Omni magic faster. Normally, if I have it off. I'll show you guys the differences. So right there, this is how slow it is without my ninjutsu, I mean without the mystic card unlocked. Now with the mystic card, this is how fast it is. Do you see the differences? How much slower, I mean how much faster that was compared to the first time when I did it? All right, so once you got those skills unlocked, guys, you are ready to do ninjutsu cancels. But the ninjutsu cancels for ninja, you will always be able to do them without the Mystic Card, but for the Omni, which is different, you're gonna need to have 
amplification i mean enlightenment uh unlocked otherwise it will not work excuse me whilst i just shut my window because the wind is really strong all right so i'm sorry about that all right let's continue so all you're gonna have to do now guys once you got those things out of the way you're gonna have to press square triangle and then do any ninjutsu you want to do and this can be anything it doesn't just have to be powers like you know lightning water all that stuff it can be bombs even so see that even gunpowder and you can do it twice boom boom just like so and you can do uh kunai cancels as well so you throw kunai and you cancel it and then you can go straight into another attack or you can do for example let me just show you uh i got four shortcuts but i'll show you guys how to do that as well so you got boom For example, that's just an example of things that you can combine together. But um, I was actually gonna try and do like uh, it's kind of tricky because you know you need to yeah you gotta mix it up a little bit like that. So as you can see, you can do like two things together like that, or you can do even uh, something like this, for example. And that is really good. I'll show you that in a combo eventually, as soon as I get to it. But um, guys. Now that you know how to do ninjutsu cancels for the switch glaive, that's just one of the ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you a more advanced way of doing ninjutsu cancels for the switch glaive in a second, as soon as we get there. All right, so let's move on to the second phase. Second phase is gonna be combat. In combat, um, so the first phase was ninjutsu cancels and all that stuff, and then the the second phase is gonna be the combat. So a lot of you know that you know each stance gives you certain attack patterns and so onwards. Now, what you're going to need to understand is that the Switchglaive might be one of the only weapons that doesn't have... I haven't checked the axe yet, but I hope it doesn't as well, <laughs> just because. But anyway, the Switchglaive doesn't have an at the end of the combo for square. So when I press triangle, I don't have an end combo for the Switchglaive for square. And I can show you right here on the list of skills, it doesn't exist. So at the end of the combo for triangle, but for my blades... I have at the end of the combo for both triangle and square if you can see right so when i press triangle and square i'll do a combo at end combo for my square but when i do it for the switch glaive i do not have it okay so that's the only differences i think that you may have for switch glaive and the other weapons when it comes to like combos and stuff you know so when i press square i mean triangle and then i press square there's no end combo so all i gotta do is just press square triangle triangle and then i can either do switch stance which i will explain what it is in a minute um but i just wanted to make sure you guys are aware that you do not have an end combo for triangle square uh for the switch clip and it doesn't matter what stance you're on you do not have it so uh, high stance does not have it either so there you have it and that's the only thing that you may be missing out um for the switch clip compared to the other weapons okay so now we're gonna move on to actual combat and stuff and stuff that you, you can do for the switch glaive so when you're fighting with the switch glaive you can easily deplete your entire stamina when you're fighting with the switch glaive okay and you can get carried away by um by inputting stuff like this and you know you're trying to do combos and stuff like that but you can easily deplete your stamina as you can see i depleted my stamina in a matter of seconds so let me just continue doing nonsense so I actually just fluxed there. I didn't mean to flux. I didn't mean I just meant to continue attacking. But if you guys get what I'm saying though, you do lose a lot of stamina really fast. Now, how do you get back that stamina really quick? Now check this out. You can do attacks like this. Right? And then you can flux. And look at how much stamina I just gained back. Although it's slightly slower, but I'm still getting a lot of stamina back, right? So all I'm doing guys, I am fluxing and flux is a very important thing that you need to learn uh, in your samurai skill tree. So right here on your samurai, if you go to flux, it tells you changing to another stance on a successful key plus, key plus increases the amount of stamina recovered. Okay, and then if you got level 2, you you know, you get even more, even more stamina recovered when you like, you know, change stance. So all I'm doing is... I mean, sorry, before I understand, before I explain what I'm doing, you need to understand that when you're fighting and using the switch glaive, when you just press, when you press R1, uh, before your attack finishes and before the, you know, the key thing surrounds your character, when you press R1 square or R1 X to change stance, 
your character will change into switch stance, which is a it's a skill that conflicts your your flux when you're using your your switch glaive. I'll I'll explain in a minute what that means. So right here, when I'm pressing square and then I press R one X, that will happen. And what if I do not want to do that skill? So I could be here, and I don't want that to happen. Instead, I want to do my flux. And it's the same buttons, but what you're gonna need to understand is that in order for you to do a flux with the switch glaive, you're gonna have to wait slightly. A little bit of time just before you do key pulse or flux even uh in order for it to take place otherwise you're gonna go into a switch stance see right now i did the switch stance change and now i'm gonna do the flux again mid stance see that i'm pressing the same button so why is it doing flux when i'm waiting and it's doing switch glaive when i'm not i mean switch stance when i'm not waiting so that is the only conflict that you may have and you may need to take a little bit of practice to do that because you might get carried away and eventually lose all your stamina because you know you're not waiting but this is something that really bugged me when i was using the switch clip at in the beginning of the game i was like wait hold on why can't i do key pulse or flux when i'm using the blades because if you ch check out the, the the normal swords or the katana even they you can do flux completely like all the time literally like all the time and you basically can never run out of ski as long as you know what you're doing you know but for the switch clave if you get carried away you can always do like doing switch stances and you lose your stamina completely but right there i did a flux because i didn't want to lose my stamina which is why i'm trying to understand i mean trying to explain to you guys that it's really important that you guys know about this before you go out to like you know to combat so all you gotta do guys, the, the differences are when you wanna do a switch stance, which this currently is called switch stance edge. What I'm gonna do is the switch stance edge. And I could be in, in low stance or high stance, right? For this one to happen. So all I gotta do is press square and at any given time or any given point, I can press R1 square and he'll do he'll go from high stance or low stance to mid stance. Okay, so all I gotta do is press square and then R1 square and I'll go straight to mid stance, just like so. But you gotta be really careful because these attacks are parryable and you can see them coming really easily. So if I was to use my blades and somebody did the switch stance on me, so somebody did this on me, I would see it. Because you can see it takes a little bit of time, you know, for the attack to come out, right? So if somebody did this to me as well, I would see it. I would parry it and I would punish it. So you gotta be really careful when you're... You know, if PvP ever comes out, be really careful when you're doing those stances. Only do it when your opponent isn't expecting it. I don't know when that is, but, you know, just be careful um, when you're doing this. So, only in PvP, but, in, you know, in PvE, you can do this however you like. Monsters do not have parry and unless, you know, fighting a computer AI, a human computer AI. So, yeah, just be careful anyway. Um, so, yeah, that one is called the Switch Stance Edge. Now I'm going to show you the switch stance uh, blade, which is whenever you're in mid stance or high stance, right? Mid stance or high stance. If you press square and then R1X, you go straight into low stance. This is really good because at any point, if you just want to get straight into a quick attack, you can go, go, boom, just like that. Now, I will face the computer in a second. I'm just going to show you exactly what these moves are and what they do and how you can benefit from them. Now, whenever you hit your opponent with this move right here, if you change the switch switch stance blade, you can get the second attack in and then the third one can be blocked. So right here, boom, one, two, and then that third that third hit right there, which was my last hit, they can block it. And I can show you right now uh, how that happens. So see that third hit got blocked, right? And again, I'll do it again, but now he's out of stamina because it deals a lot of time and I'm currently using a level one weapon by the way and it really hurts see that again the third hit always gets blocked but again you already got the you've already successfully landed the you know the the second hit so what you're gonna try and do guys is the ninjutsu cancel that I taught you guys in the beginning so I'll show you exactly how you can use this to your maximum potential right there and then ninjutsu cancel straight into something crazy like this and boom right there as you can see 
that's a really good combo it does a lot of damage because you know your ninjutsu will hit him and because the lightning takes a little bit of time to come to come out what i recommend you guys do when you're in combat against a human ai always use fire because fire comes right in front of you and if they try to parry you let me just do that again because i just messed that up if they try to parry you wow he just went through my heavy attack that's impressive i am impressed uh, whenever they try to counter you or attack you whilst you're using your ninjutsu cancel, fire will literally hit them before they can hit you. So I'll show you exactly what that means. Wow. And look at the damage it does as well as the block. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It does a lot of like uh, break, key break damage. So it's really good. So boom. I need to be quicker at performing that. Otherwise, it will just continue blocking it. Okay, the switch glaive does a lot of damage. It's it's insane how much damage this weapon does. So right there, boom. Right there, boom. And if he tries to parry me, the fire will get him. Like before he gets me, so it'll be nice. Um, do you get the idea, guys? Right there. So just remember that whenever you, you want to get a few extra hits on your computer, if you land any of these attacks, so for example, if you're in mid stance, this only works for switch stance blade which is uh in in low stance so whenever you you're trying to change to low stance switch stance blade is the only switch stance that will actually connect and continue your combo after you know the first hit so you can go at any point if i hit them with that i can just go boom straight into a ninjutsu cancel and i'll get a few extra hits and i can keep more pressures if you know what i'm saying guys it's really nice and that's not the only way and the only version we got. We got a lot more, but I'll get through it in the video as we go. So right now I'm going to show you Retribution, which is the high stance switch stance uh, change, which is right here. Whenever you're in low stance or mid stance, you can go to high stance straight away. So right there, boom, that's in mid stance. And then in high stance, same as you can see. So whenever I'm in low stance, I can just go to that, boom. Just like that and it deals a lot of break stamina thing you know break key gauge thing it deals a lot of damage on that like it breaks their weapon really quickly their guard really quickly if they block it so just pray that they block it because if they do block it their, their stamina is gone um especially if you're using a high oh no i'm actually using i thought i was using my level one weapon that was crazy i honestly thought i was using my, my level one weapon maybe not <laughs> maybe not maybe not bro that's just insane i was gonna say bro like what the hell that's a lot of damage uh where's my level four wait there it is okay now we can practice um so just to sh actually it was good that i showed you how much damage you can do with the first weapon you know with your main weapons and stuff um but yeah now i'm gonna show you uh how much uh how much damage you can still dish out even with the level one weapon so i'll show you so boom even if he blocks it see that he tried to parry me and i still countered him and he still died he still died after the combos obviously the ninjutsu is really powerful uh even though my character hasn't doesn't have like dexterity to max out it's, it's only in 25 but you get the picture man it really hurts all right so now that we got the switch stances out of the way remember this is switch stance edge, so right there, so boom, that's edge. This is blade, so blade is when you're using in low stance, and this is retribution, and that's retribution, right there. And just summarizing really quickly, guys, if you wanna flux, you're gonna make sure you do square, wait for the blue aura to come around your character, and then do R1X or R1 triangle, if you're in mid stance, of course, see that? That's how you flux with the switch glaive. And if you want to change stance, then you don't wait at all. You just go boom, boom, and so on, you know? So you can keep attacking, actually. You don't have to wait. You can just keep going. And, but you, your stamina just depletes like crazy. So you got to be really careful and mindful when you're doing that, uh, when you're spamming that. <laughs> but just make sure you're really aware of what you're doing, guys. Okay, now we're going to get into the complicated stuff. Alright, so here's an example on how to be really fast when you're using the glaive and the katana. It's just an example, you can do this with any other weapon uh, as you please.
just like so. Now, if I'm to break this down, you guys are gonna need to understand that the Switchglaive isn't a great weapon for starting up combos, so like running up on your enemy, so if they're about to run away from you and recover their health, you may as well get a quicker weapon such as the Katana or something else, like a, you know, the Kusurigamas are really nice for like getting in and out of combos. So I recommend you guys use a quicker weapon than the Switchglaive to start combos with, so because you know, the Katana allows you to go into stuff like that really fast, and you know, it just allows you to do much faster stuff. So. Again, Katana and the Switch Glaives are really good weapons for synergy, for like combos and stuff, you know? So, let's break that down really quickly. All you're gonna need to do, guys, run up on your enemy. So, hold X, press square, and quickly do a flux with the, with the Katana. And the flux with the Katana can be done really fast, you don't have to wait. All you gotta do is literally attack and immediately flux, just like so. You, by fluxing, I mean... R1 and X as soon as you do your first attack. Right there, R1, X, and then square again. And then you can immediately change stance. Not stance, change weapon to your switch glaive before the key pulse goes away. So boom, right there, that key pulse. You see that key pulse right there at the end? That cannot go away before I change my weapon. So boom, say right there. And they allowed me to go straight into that move. Now, that move is thin air. Thin air is one of switch glaives uh, R1 circle hold moves which allows you to push your target as well as damage their defense really badly so it's really good and especially if you imbue it with a custom active skill that gives you uh let me say where is it there is masterful slice so if i was to hit my opponent's guard with this move right here so where is it uh that one right there they will get their damage, like their key damage dealt really heavily, so I'll probably break the guard really badly. But um, of course my weapon doesn't have anything imbued to it right now because obviously it's, it's a level 1 weapon. But you get the idea though, if I have break as well as key damage on my weapon, they'll be in trouble if they block it. So yeah, it's really good. Anyway, let's just break the combo down really quickly. So what we're gonna do is run up on our enemy, press square with the katana, not the switch glaive. So mid stance. Or low stance, it doesn't matter. You go in, you know, you run up on them and then you press square, you know. But I, I start with the medium stance because it's nicer. I like that medium stance. It's nice as well, but obviously low stance is quicker. But medium stance is nice too, so, and it works just, just, as, just as well as low stance does, so. If not better, because the range. Anyway, you run up on them, press square, and then you quickly change, you know, not change stance, you're flexing. Uh, press square, R1. X straight into, you know, straight into mid. I mean, straight straight into low stance. So boom, low stance, and before the key pulse goes away, you're changing weapon, just like so, you know. So again, let me just show you that. Change weapon, and boom, just like so. See that? If I'm using my sword, if I just change weapon, so if I literally just hold circle right now and then press down, so I'm holding R1 as you can see. I'm holding R1 right now. And then I'm pressing down. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold circle, but quickly change my weapon. So I'm holding R1 currently. I'm gonna press circle and then quickly change my weapon. Look what happens. That happens because I don't have to wait an eternity to unleash the thin air move from uh, from the switch glaive. So like, let me just show you. I don't have to do all of that. I don't have to hold it for that long. I can just literally hold for two seconds. Uh, let me just show you that again. Plus the bomb. Not even two seconds, like a, a split second, guys. All you gotta do, literally, a split second and then straight into a switch stance blade. And um, that's that. You're pretty much done. So, I'm gonna show you that. That's half of the stuff. That's half of the combo right there. So, boom. And boom. Just like so. See that? That's a really good synergy combo. And then what you're gonna wanna do after you do the switch blade, switch stance change blade, which is the one I'm currently on right now. This is slightly complicated guys, I'm really sorry, but we are in the advanced stuff and it's, it's starting to get the advanced stuff right now. So, again, boom, boom, switch blade stance, blade, and then boom. And then what you're gonna wanna do before the key pulse goes away, before the key pulse even shows up guys, what you're gonna wanna do, so let me just do that again, boom, boom, straight into switch blade edge. Switch stance, bla <laughs> god damn it, switch stance change edge and Remember how we discussed about in the beginning which which stances means 
uh, which stance are you know the stances which of the stances are what what medium stance is whether it's edge retribution or blade so this one is edge the one I just did was edge so let me just show you that one is edge and then this one is retribution and then this one I mean hold on that one right there that one where he jumps up like that so that one is blade okay so what you're gonna want to do from here you're gonna go boom oh just do that again and then straight into edge just like so and then what you're gonna want to do guys is press square and then triangle and that's it um and then it doesn't even stop there either because after that after square triangle you can do into ninjutsu i mean uh shuriken cancel and the shuriken cancels work the same as ninjutsu cancels all you gotta do is press ninjutsu i mean i uh, sorry you gotta wait a little bit though for this one just before the just before the uh the key pulse shows up uh literally boom and then all you gotta do is press you know the up on the arrow for my shurikens and then i'm pressing the key pulse to cancel out the animation otherwise if you don't cancel the animation Look how long it takes me to attack after it, okay? So, boom. See that? I couldn't attack that whole time. Now, if I cancel it, this is the, this is how quick it is. See that? That's the differences between ninjutsu cancels and shuriken cancels. And it's really good because this is really good for combos and it adds more possibilities. Now, um, we're going to move on, you know, because uh, we haven't even gotten to the yokai cancels. I mean, the yokai ability cancels yet. And we're literally just touching the surface of the potentials uh, of the switchblade and the switchclave and the katana. I might just call them the switchblades. <laughs> so anyway, boom, 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 bam, and then I can go back to my sword if I would like to. So let me just show you. Oh, I messed up. I didn't wait. This is what happens when you don't wait, guys. If you don't wait, that will happen. Okay, I also messed up right there. So, boom. Boom. See that? Straight into this. This is just a mix of things that you can do. And look how far I've, I've landed. Like, what the hell? So far. So, boom. I'm just giving you guys an example of things you can do with this. So, boom. Boom. Just like that or something like that but anyway that's not it because now i'm gonna implement the yokai abilities for you guys to see what you can do next now we're gonna get into godly stuff guys so get ready sit tight we're gonna learn all of this all right guys we're back and now i'm gonna show you the godly stuff boys get ready man get ready we've learned this on stream as well so Hold up, what? What the hell is that? Well, let's break it down. <laughs> let me just get this out. Let me just get this guy out of here. So remember, like, switch plays are not good for starting combos. Just uh, change it straight away. Ah, he got me before I could change. <laughs> Sit down. Anyway, boys. Now, what the hell was that? So, actually, I didn't show you the second version. The second version is slightly nicer even. So, let me just do that again. So, boom. See that? <laughs> so I literally depleted his entire stamina and he goes on the floor. If he doesn't go end up on the floor, he's either like stamina broken and about to get knocked out. Boom, and just like so. There we go. So I'll explain exactly what we're doing right now, guys. So right now you're gonna need the following yokai abilities. These yokai abilities for combos and synergy are top-notch, the best in the game. Well, for me anyway. 
And you know, I'm a combo god. Like, I like doing combos in game. A lot of people will say, oh, but it's useless. You want to one-shot your opponents? I don't care, man. I don't want to one-shot my opponents. I want to have fun. You guys enjoy killing your opponents with one hit? I don't. I like, I like fighting my opponents by juggling them, giving them tons of hits without them dying straight away. Otherwise, it gets boring. Anyway, you're going to need the following yokai abilities, all right? So currently, I'm using... Uh, a Baron Soldier Soul Core and Magatsu Warrior Soul Core. So Magatsu is that annoying guy who has like multiple arms and he slices you Soul Core anyway. And then you got the the guy that f you know fires his arm, which is really good because they allow you to cancel out of things really fast. So you can see right here, you can just go straight into an attack straight away. As soon as you throw it, you can go straight into an attack just like so. And the same goes for you know the Archer guy. You can go straight into an attack or even that one as well. So it's really nice. I use them a lot because they're really good for combos and synergy. All right. So now let me explain and break it down to you guys how I did all of that and why am I able to continue attacking even when I'm summoning my Guardian Spirit Soul Core. My Guardian Spirit Soul Core is that one. The reason why I use it, if you look at my stat right now, gives you unflinching and unflinching is really good they can't touch me like they can't move me whilst i'm getting hit I'll check this out wow that tickles it really does tickle wow you are so strong boy i wish i was like you you're so strong you are so strong boy you are so strong anyway it only lasts for about 30 minutes or so i'm um, 30 minutes jesus um <laughs> It lasts about 30 seconds, uh, if I'm not wrong. But you know, you know what you gotta do to unleash it. All you gotta do, and then boom, straight into it. And now they can flinch me again, just like so. Go on, do your worst. And as you can see, still going. Like, he can't flinch me at all. Oh, that's nasty. And <laughs> back to having my thing again. Bruh. Anyway, you guys get the picture, bro. The reason why I use that, uh, the Garden Spirit, which I'll show you which one it is. Uh, it's the Reindeer Spirit. It's because it gives you unflinching every time you use its Garden Spirit. Um, it's called... What, what is the name of this Garden Spirit? Shinroku. So Shinroku, I think I think it's uh, Honda Tadakatsu's... Yeah, it definitely is. It's Honda Tadakatsu's... Um, what's his name? It's Honda Tadakatsu Soul Core. I mean, Garden Spirit. So go ahead, beat his ass, and he should give you this as soon as possible. And then all you can do is literally use it to your, to your, you know, to your benefit. Also, my build is slightly around lightning. When I hit my opponents, they get, they get like slowed down when I apply my lightning element to it. And because my sword, my main blades, also have lightning, this Garden Spirit also boosts my lightning damage. So shock accumulation and then imbue lightning, as you can see. And this one has fire, but my other one also has lightning in it, which is this one. I still need to add one more perk to my weapon. I didn't realize I hadn't done that yet. But anyway, guys, as I was saying, let's break it down. Let's see how you do that. All that stuff. So as I said already, guys, this allows you to attack straight after you use it, right? And so does this one. Although it takes a little bit, a little bit of time on that one, but when you use it all the way to the max, you can go straight into an attack or something like that, you know? You can even teabag them. Like, teabag them before you finish them off. Boom. After you've done, you know, Magatsu's attack. So it's really nice. Anyway, let's get into it, guys. Um, what you're going to want to do, again, the same kind of pattern. Obviously, you can start however you like. You can just go from here to straight away. You don't have to do the whole running thing. That's only for human, for human type of AI, you know? Human type of AIs are really smart, and if you're not careless, if you're careless, they will hit you. They will mess you up. So I do recommend you run into them and then smack them. If they are a human AI, if they're not, you can just start from here, or even you can just go boom. No, no, hold, on, hold on, my bad, my bad. You can just go boom and then straight into it, just like so. So the way I do that is I do square, and then before the before the what do you call it? The key pulse comes around all around my character. I do. You know, circle. I mean, R1 circle hold just briefly for like a second. And then I'm doing R1X. So square, R1 circle hold, R1X. Okay, let's do that again. So square, R1 circle hold, 
R1X. And then what I'm doing, I'm doing my Garden Spirit attack, which this move right here. So the switch switch stance blade after after thin air. So thin air into switch stance blade gives you so much time to cancel. It's ridiculous. You can do a whole what do you call this? A whole uh, gesture. Not like not like a whole gesture, but you get the idea. Let me just show you what I mean. So boom. See that? You can do a whole gesture and then troll them and just literally you can you, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? I don't have to explain myself, like I didn't cancel that time because I was a bit slow. Let me just do that again, boom. Boom. See that? You can literally do something like this. And it, it's just it's it's annoying because you know your character your opponent will be really furious. You'll really get angry and then start to send you messages. But it's good because it's all fun and games until somebody gets upset. Um, so what you're gonna want to do, guys? Again, as I said, you don't have to start with the running. You can literally just go from wherever you are. So you can even go from high stance straight into it, boom, and then call your garden spirit and from here onwards they can't flinch you and guess what you can keep pressure and literally annihilate them you can even just i don't know maybe even do after you call your garden spirit so for example when i go from here so boom oh my bad my bad my bad i can go boom 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 garden spirit straight into a ninjutsu cancel you know to make it worse to make it even worse, you know, just mix things up. And obviously you guys are like, wait, hold on, how are you doing that? All I'm doing, guys, is the stuff that I already taught you. So first of all, I did the, the thin air into switch stance blade, as I said earlier. So thin air, remember square, thin air, which is that one, switch stance blade, God and spirit. And then what I'm doing, square, remember the low stance, low stance. So square triangle into ninjutsu cancel. And then I'm using a yokai ability, which that yokai ability also allows you to, to, to attack straight after you finish it. Or even this one, which is really nice. Also, I'm using Brute a lot more often because Brute allows you to keep pressure. So, for example, I can go boom, straight into a yokai ability. So, boom. See that? Brute is really good for when you're trying to keep pressure. I can just keep doing this as long as I have stamina. As well as you know, yokai, yokai ability uh, gauge. If they block it, great. I can call brute to mess him up. I can just keep going. Literally, can just keep going. Wow, how did that miss? Oh, hold on a second. What is that? Did I just see what I? Ah, uh, okay. I thought it was faster. I thought it was like a, a faster thing. Anyway, do you guys get the idea what you can do right there? So I can go. This is just an example of a combo square r1 circle you know r1 circle and then straight into switch stance blade and then before the key pulse goes away what you're gonna want to do is use the garden soul core and you'll then call the the garden spirit to you know buff you up so that you don't flinch and then what you're gonna want to do is cancel that one out by pressing r1 so let me just do it oh hold on my bad boom boom and then what I'm gonna do is activate the other, uh, the other uh, Omni, which I forgot the name for, but I think I got it here. I can check it out. It is called Cutting Blast Talisman. So Cutting Blast Talisman allows you to press triangle, like any strong attack that you use, it will send shock waves. So like that, you see that? And it lasts for about yeah six strikes. So six strikes, and I use the katana. Because the katana is quick, you know, and you can use it really nicely with cutting blast, cutting blast, uh, talisman, just like so. Any stance is really fast, so obviously low stance is the fastest, so I use it on low stance. Just use your brains a little bit on there, and uh, yeah, you're pretty much ready to go. So all I'm doing, boys, is literally from thin air. Remember, we already learned this combo here, so we we already know how to do this. All I'm doing is doing boom, cancel. And if my enemy is nearby, great. I can just go into a brute because brute will mess them up regardless. So if my enemy is nearby, I do brute. If they are far away, I can just go straight from this one. I can go into uh, a Baron Soul Core, change weapon, and then boom, straight like this. You get the idea? So let me, I'll show you the differences. So if my opponent is here, 
right next to me. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Sorry, mate. If he blocks, great. It doesn't matter if he blocks. Right there. So if my opponent is right there, I can go Brute, call the Talisman, and then straight into this. Mess him up a little bit more. And if he's far away, I can go a Baron, and then do it. You get the idea, guys? If he's far away, you do you go from Baron. If he's close by, you do Brute, a Baron, straight into a, you know, straight into a weapon change. So boom. He's far away right there, so that missed. So I go a Baron, and then I do it. Do you get the idea, guys? That's the only differences you need to know. But um, the combo is beautiful and it really works and it's really nice. Anyway, let's finish this guy off because we got another one to teach you. Get away from me, Satan. Get away from me, boy. Go ahead, block it. Now, you're probably thinking, hold on, let's explain that again because it's kind of complicated, but it's not. It's really nice, really simple. I can just simplify it even more just like so so all you gotta do when you got your weapon guys and the weapon is seated or even after an attack all you gotta do is press r1 circle hold it okay and then you're doing r1 x straight after so r1 circle r1 x let me just show you again r1 circle r1 x that's it okay and then what you're gonna want to do before the key post goes away you're gonna do guard and talisman attack so Again, R1 circle, R1 X, Guardian Talisman. And then what you're gonna wanna do is use the other Guardian Talisman. I mean, not Guardian Talisman, the Cutting Blast Edge, uh, you know, Omni ability. So, from here, oh, my bad, my bad, I messed up. So, from here, R1 circle, R1 X, circle, X, Guardian Talisman, Cutting Blast Edge. And if my enemy is far away, if my enemy is that cross over there, I do a Baron Talisman. I mean, yeah, a Baron Soul Core straight into a weapon change. So as soon as you do a Baron Soul Core, what you're gonna wanna do, guys, boom, hold R1 straight away. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, I mean, hold R1 and circle after you activate this. So actually, don't hold R1. I mean, hold R1, but do not hold circle. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is press a Baron, hold R1, and then as soon as the animation for the Baron launches, you know, as soon as he launches the arm, you're gonna wanna do, uh, what do you call it, boys? You're gonna wanna press circle and then down on your D-pad straight away. So let me just show you uh, from here, actually. So boom, 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 and then boom, bam, just like so. And also I changed my low stance for my blades, you know, for my katana because um, at this specific point, actually, sorry, I go from my from my low stance at this specific point. So boom, boom, right here. So whenever I change stance, I go R1, and then with my thumb, with my edge of my thumb, I press circle, and then in my lower my lower half of my thumb, what I'm doing, I'm literally slightly just pressing X whilst I'm holding circle. So I'm pressing circle as well as pressing X at the same time. So like so, boom. See that? I'm changing stance and then going. So for example, I'm here right now, boom. Just like so. And um, the reason why I do that is because I wanna do the slashes for the cutting blast edge. So again, I wanna do this. Oh, no, not that. And then I do boom, boom, just like so. Because quick draw is the quickest move you know you got for the blades because it comes out really nice and quick when you like key pulse and stuff you can just keep doing it it's really fast and you can change weapon in between as well as you can see I can change weapon in between boom boom obviously it's quicker to do it with your what do you call it with the um, with the dual blades it's much much faster like it's super fast just like so as you can see the switch clave takes a little bit of time but it's really nice as well the synergy is really nice between them so boom 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 you get the idea guys and then at any point you can just go boom boom and garden talisman cutting blast edge 
a Baron Soul Core, and boom. Just like so, guys. Well, I'll definitely slow down the video for you guys to understand on how to do this. I'll slow it down and talk over it or whatever you guys need to do for you guys to understand how to do it. So let me just do that again. That's a fail. <laughs> That's a fail. If you do not want to change weapon, great. You can just press triangle straight away. But if you do want to change weapon, which is, uh, I don't recommend changing weapon. I mean, it's up to you what combos you're going to go for. But um, if you want to change weapon, great. If you don't want to change weapon, that's fine. You can still do it with your with your uh, Switch Glaive. So you don't necessarily have to change weapon. I just changed weapon because I like swords. They, they look cooler when I'm doing it. You know, this move is slightly better looking than, you know, this thing. Right? And it's quicker as well. So that's why I change. Ah, oh, my bad. I messed up. And there you have it. That's it. Um, <sighs> that was crazy. Now, we got one last thing to learn with the Switch Glaive. The Switch Glaive has a perk. It has a messed up perk, which basically means when you're out of stamina, if you hold square, there it is. So hold circle, I mean hold square to unleash a devastating strike. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this. This, I learned to do it uh, through Kato. He showed me that you need to hit an opponent for that to work. So every time you change stance, so remember how, you know, right there, you can see right there, you can see one. So I'm gonna change stance again, that's two. That's three. You gotta do it five times. Oh, I just got caught. Nice. Now that's five. So you can't do it anymore. I mean, you know, it doesn't increase anymore, but... Wow, that still got me. Nice. Um, to keep it up, if you don't hit the opponent for a certain minute, for a certain while, it goes away. Now at any given point, if you hold square, guys, this will happen. See that move right there? And it dealt, still dealt a lot of damage. And I'm using a level 1 weapon. This is a level 1 weapon. So... And it still dealt that much damage, boys. Just imagine what you can do with it when your weapon is fully maxed out. Do you get the idea, guys? I don't know how to use it in a combo yet, but I'm gonna try and, and put a combo uh, sample at the end of this video. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys how to use this in combat and stuff like that so I can't do it in low stance no you can't there we go you can only do it I don't think you can use it in low stance I think you can only use it in mid stance or high stance alright this guy keeps hitting me so I'm gonna do get away from me behind you where are you going? <laughs> All right, <laughs> I don't know where he's going. But anyway, let's just do that again. I can't, I can't flinch right now, so I don't know why I'm worried. So boom. Ah, uh, my flinchness go away. All right, nice. So now we got five. I think I'm gonna try and do it whilst in midst. I mean, low stance, just to show you guys that you can't do it in low stance. All right, so now I'm gonna do it in low stance. Hold square. Oh, you can. Nah, you can. You can. My bad. You can do it in any stance. You can do it in any stance, boys. So it's all good. That's three. All right, now I'm going to do it in high stance and try to see if it works. Yeah, it works. It works in any stance, boys. So at any point, after you hit them five times with the switch switch stance change, like, you know, the either retribution or blade or even edge, at any time, any given point, if you just hold square. But again, it must hit, boys. It must hit. If it does not hit, 
you will not count. As you can see, I'm hitting him. And if I don't hit, it doesn't count. And I think it gives you super armor as well. So I'm going to do it at the same time he's going to attack me just to see. Yep. Ah, uh, he failed. There we go. Can't move me. All right. Oh. Let's end him. Oh, I missed. How did that miss from so close up? <laughs> anyway, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys that that's another perk that you got for the for the Switch Glaive. And it's a Mystic card, so you must unlock that as soon as possible because it's beautiful. And also, it reduces the key amount you do, uh, you use when you're using the Switch Glaive because, you know, I don't, I don't like running out of key. Uh, Wildfire Flux, this is for attack power. It increases your attack power by one level with the Switch Dance changes. So every time you change, it hurts, bro. Every time you change stance, your power goes up. So, which pre preferably, I think a lot of people would probably use this because you know people love one shotting these enemies for some reason. I just don't enjoy that. So, I go for stamina reduction. There we go. But it doesn't boost your damage though. I still did the same damage. So I I would definitely use uh, Tempest Flux because, you know, it allows me to use more combos and stuff like that on my enemies. So why not, right? Why not? Boom. Let's end him. Mm -hmm. You're slowed down, aren't you? I know, right? My lightning is ferocious and is dead. All right, boys. Um. That's pretty much it. I think we covered everything for the Switch Glaive. I told you guys how to flux. I told you guys some combos. I told you guys, uh, you know, some essentials and like, you know, uh, key blast canceling, all that stuff. Key blast canceling, bruh. Um, what do you call it? Uh, ninjutsu canceling and stuff. Uh, some some ins and out of the, you know, thin air and the stances, what they mean, what they do. Switch Glaive is probably the most complex weapon in the game. This one and the, uh, what's the other weapon that's really complex? I think the Kusurigamas as well. They're really nice to use and really complex as well. As well as the double axe, uh, what you call them, the hatchets. They're really complex. Actually, <laughs> every weapon is complex. Just screw it, man. Every weapon is complex, bro. As long as you know what you're doing, it's all complex. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you, uh, teach you guys how to use this weapon. I'm sorry if my teaching skills are still garbage but i hope you took a thing or two with this tutorial i um really do hope you guys enjoying this game as i am i love neo like i just wish pvp was a thing and that they played better than they did in the neo one but um you know i'm i'm gonna keep dreaming and keep hoping for the best one day hopefully they you know hopefully they this looks like an anime picture hopefully they do it and they implement it eventually i really do want to do some pvp against you guys uh one day so yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys on my next video, man. Let me know what tutorials to make next, and I'll get to it. All right, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you enjoy the content, of course, if you didn't, obviously dislike. But um, yeah, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe for me. Really helps the channel as well as the video, you know. And uh, yeah, also consider becoming a member. Uh, I will be doing some new live wallpaper for Neo as well as for God of War. So if you're interested in supporting me directly, go. Please make sure you, uh, you know, check out the membership, how to become a member on the channel and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. I hope uh, this was worth your time. I'm so sorry with my teaching skills. They will improve with time, though. I'm still learning myself. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Take care, man. Bye bye. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. But let's stay connected by following me on Instagram and on Twitter. 
Also, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Take care.